our uh, next piece, um, my shtick is I like to, you know, sing the nice, slow, and what is the word I use? Schmaltzy? Oh. Yep, schmaltzy. Um, so here is a lovely schmaltzy piece. Um, oh it's called Without a Song from the musical play Great Day. Um, it talks about what life would be like if there were no music or without a song, what would life be like? So here is Without a Song. <laughs> Take 
Oh, yeah. Fun fact about Angela Lansbury. Brian just told me this. Um, when she flew in to record this song, she literally did it in one take. The, the track on the movie is the one take that she did. She's just flawless. I know. <laughs> so, here's Beauty and the Beast. The artistic <laughs> notes, the artistic choice. <laughs> yes, they are. Um, what's uh, wonderful, Brian uh, had mentioned our last stop. Uh, the thing about Disney that is so wonderful is it's really just another form of opera, if you think about it. It is a telling of a story with music. And that's really why uh, we include, and he makes sure he does include Disney on any of these outreach programs, for school programs, especially for the kids, because that really is opera, if you think about it. Um, so this is our um, last Disney piece that we'll sing for you today from one of my favorite movies, The Lion King. Um, this is the duet between Simba and Nala, music by Elton John, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? <laughs> Tell her, but how to make her see 
the Duke of Mantua, who is a sleazebag, um, who is a womanizer, and he's singing a song about it. Isn't that great? <laughs> um, the title of the song is literally Women Are Fickle, or La Donna Immobile. So um, here is that song um, from, by Giuseppe Verdi from the opera Rigoletto. The most recent time that this has been used on television and maybe you will notice it now that we're telling you about it, is that La Donna Mobile is currently the soundtrack for a cat litter commercial. <laughs> you'll, you'll let us know what relevance that has to <laughs> this opera. Send me, send me an email. <laughs> to be uh, from the show that we met in. Aww. 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 <laughs> um, it, although it's not very a very romantic show, no, the show is Carmen. So in case you don't know, the tenor kills the Carmen in the end. So, uh, you know, it's like, ah, uh, but anyway. Um, so um, there are lots of notable melodies from Carmen, um, the habanero. from the show Carmen or Toreador. Here we go. Okay, we're not singing either of those. <laughs> Just wanted to throw those out there. Um, what we are singing is the Segadia scene. 
So what has happened here, just so you guys know once again what we're doing, um, unless some of you speak French, which then we hope you understand what we're saying. <laughs> uh, so this scene, Carmen um, has been um, arrested for um, cutting another cigarette factory's face. This is cigarette factory worker's face. Um, yep, she got in a fight, and so she has been arrested um, by the character I am playing, Don Jose, who is a lowly military officer. And basically, she... Um, she just wants out. She wants. She's, she doesn't want to be in prison anymore. She's not about that life. So she's going to uh, sing a song called The Segadia. And actually, in the middle, when I interrupt this song, I tell her to shut up, and I told her not to speak, and she goes... Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm just singing to myself. I'm, I'm not talking to I'm you. I'm not talking to you. I'm just singing to myself. Mm -hmm. So she uses a lot of, uh, and you'll hear it in the melody. The melody is very seductive. And so throughout this, she uh, slowly but surely gets freed by seducing the officer Don Jose. So here <laughs> is the second year. Yeah. 
the uh, last number in our program here. Um, I want to give out, if you guys can give a real special thank you to Brian Zaleski. And yeah. Yeah. Woo! plays beautifully. It is always a treat to have him at the piano. You guys, he is... He has played for some of the most, he's played for Joan Sutherland. He's played, I find out new facts about him all the time, which literally he did say today, he worked on Fantasia 2000, which I had heard, mm -hmm. but then had forgotten, which is amazing. So we are very blessed here at Knoxville Opera to have Brian Zaleski as our yeah. guest. to uh, the, um, the Cliffs of Surrender. This is a Neapolitan song. Neapolitan songs are typically uh, full of passion, and you can, you can hear that in the piano playing, you can hear it in the voice. Um, they're very uh, popular. This is a very popular song, Turna Suriento. It was sung by Elvis and Bing Crosby, and so many people, artists have sung this song. Um, and so here in English, it means come back to Suriento. So maybe as you look out around us, you know, we're on this beautiful water, you got this beautiful green, imagine you're gonna, we're going to transport you to Italy. So here's Torna a Suriento. So we hope to see you along the road this season, even though it's a weird season without any operas in the theater. But we'll certainly be out with you in the community and hope that you'll join us for other wonderful occasions. So thank you for your support. Everyone stay safe. Thank you.